Hi there, good evening, Sakrola India time, and I welcome all of you for next lesson, which is based upon critical ratio. So, what is critical ratio? It is used basically to schedule or prioritize different job orders or production orders. And why it's important for you to know? Because at times there will be situations where software is not going to plan for you. There are situations where risks are anticipated. Uh, you you get a intimation from supply team. Hey, for this uh, product family, we have limited raw material. Please prioritize your job orders. And in many cases, you have this machine is have limiting limited capacity. Please prioritize your orders. So how are you going to prioritize by yourself? So that's where critical ratio comes very handy. Um, it's very easy to calculate and it kind of covers both um, like read time uh, the time remaining to produce when is customer expecting it and it's a quick ratio which uh, is just in a look uh, helps you to prioritize your job orders okay let us start with the quote if everything everything is a priority then nothing is a priority so uh, it's very important for you to have your priorities listed down when you are making a production plan and yes let's get started with this let me take you guys to excel okay so here i have an example for you uh, please follow this example properly because next will be an assignment i'll give an excel where you need to calculate critical ratio and prioritize uh, by yourself okay so here is the example. So here I have different job numbers. Uh, job number one, one zero one four zero eight three zero five, triple four, and they have their due date uh, committed to the customer. So this is the date at which um, it should be completed, right? At manufacturing, at that. And this is the lead time which it takes to produce this. And this is where we are standing today. Suppose this first November twenty twenty three. How you should you should calculate the critical ratio? Let uh, let me show you step by step. So first you start with the job orders, the due date, today's date. Then you need to get this data, the manufacturing lead time. So this is manufacturing lead time. In some cases you can also use manufacturing lead time plus uh, the shipping lead time, the logistic time it's going to take to ship the product to, uh, to the customer location, the transportation lead time. So depending upon the case, here I have taken lead time um, for different job numbers is 3, 10, 7, 30. And what happens in most of the cases, people or the planner just end up prioritize based upon the lead time. They will take 30. Okay, this is this is what takes the most of the time. Let's prioritize this. But that doesn't give the right answer always. There can be a case of product which is having 3 days lead time. Uh, and somebody has a 30 days lead time but that 30 days lead time job order is expected after two months but this three days lead time job is expected within four days so how do you prioritize it so first you start with the uh, calculating the time remaining how much time is remaining to, uh, to manufacture that product so that's basically today's uh, uh, due date minus today's date so you will get the time remaining for all then you jump to the critical ratio. So this uh, this itself won't give you the full idea. So sometimes yeah, this is also the mistake that uh, we only uh, take into consideration or the production plan only take into consideration how much time is remaining, and which is expected the earliest is produced first. Now this is also a wrong way. And yeah, now coming to the critical ratio. Critical ratio is basically the ratio between the time remaining by the lead time and here you have to prioritize the least number the first the smallest goes first you see here i have mentioned the smallest goes first so here you can see the smallest one is this one this which is negative this is the first priority now let us see whether this critical ratio has given us the right answer or not So 
okay yeah so this it's telling first now let us see the situation now this this product is was expected on 21st october yeah but today's date is one november 22 which means the date has already gone we are already degrading the product in this one this takes 30 more days so if you consider the lead time and time remaining we are going negative which means this should be the highest priority now after this the biggest number is this one in the ascending order 1.1 happens to the second one now if you see for them uh, time remaining is 11 no for both of them so both of them time remaining is 11 but this has the uh, more lead time the greater lead time so that's why the critical ratio has prioritized them now if you see the third one is this one now if you see the time remaining for this one is 14 but lead time is more so that is third and this is fourth so that's how you prioritize your uh, your orders based upon uh, the lead time time remaining in today's date and this is going to be one of the uh, most handy ratio uh, which is going to save you from a lot of uh, work of differently changing out the lead time time remaining today's date everything in one shot this uh, this critical ratio will help you to prioritize your job order. So this is it for this lesson. Please go ahead and apply critical ratio in your production plan. Thank you and have a great day ahead.